Steve. I'm back to doing some car reviews, just for November though, because after November I'm going back to shaving. Shaving's much easier to do. You stand in a room and you shave. I'm here, I'm getting too old for this. I gotta run around and drive and lift stuff and sweat. It's no fun, guys. All right, guys, I'm gonna try something new here today. I'm doing a review of this sweet 2019 Camaro SS and this brilliant red behind me. It's pretty cool. So I have this GoPro device here. I'm gonna put this doohickey on my head so you'll be able to see what I see. We'll do a walk around, we'll drive the vehicle, you'll hear my silly commentary. So why am I just standing here talking? Let's go, let's get started. All right, this is for you, Steve W. Oh, you gotta see me put this stupid doohickey on now. All right, so this is filming me, filming me. And this is my GoPro device. Enter the silly realm. Gives me an idea of what the camera is seeing. All right. Let's go. What am I waiting for? I look like a damn fool. Be man, be quiet. All right, here we go. 2019 Chevy Camaro Super Sport. 455 horse. Just beautiful. Look at it. Look at it, guys. You can't beat that with a stick. Nice low stance, now new for 2019. You got a little front fascia. New detail here. Beautiful SS emblem right there. And a, a new light array in the back. Now this is, this is one of the things about muscle cars, guys. I don't know if you can see that, but not very much room in the trunk. From an ergonomic standpoint, guys, if you've got a bag here, uh, you've got like a narrow opening right here, and it's high, so you gotta have a little bit of strength to get a package in, and the package has to be the right size to fit in there. So always a little bit of a pet peeve, but you're not buying a Camaro for practicality, are you? You wanna see the engine. Let's take a look. This is not a Hemi, but it is eight cylinders of delight. Again, 455 horse, nice big air cleaner covered up here. Looks nice, sweet. All right, let's jump on inside and see what we got. Beautiful two-tone interior here, guys. Nice, I'm gonna call this pebble gray. I didn't read the brochure. Little aerated seat here, SS logo. It's beautiful. If you take a look in the back seat, you might as well forget about it. There is no room right here for anything. I mean, I'd have to be as a driver. You just might as well forget about it. It's nice though. Nice looking, not functional. All right, let's jump inside. Beautiful, beautiful interior. Now the interior has been upgraded as well. The most noticeable upgrade is right here. I believe it's the Connect 3. I believe I was reading that. Beautiful screen here, app environment. But let's look around a little bit more. Soft touch materials all the way around. This nice uh, dash here with your contrast stitching. Just elegant, well done. Now, as you can see, as you sit in this vehicle, you're kind of low. You have to be low or you're gonna hit this roof. But the doors are up high, you're sitting low. The window in the back doesn't exist really. So you're essentially in a little missile where you can't really see much out of. You can't see much out of it, guys. But nice steering wheel, nice race-inspired steering wheel. You've got this flat bottom here. Beautiful shifter right here, guys. Very nice, very nicely done. Let's turn this puppy on. As I said, nice app environment. Four, six, eight, ten, right now. Let's turn that off, this uh, XM radio tuner. We'll go to your home screen there. 
you've got your app environment navigation your phone your settings phone was ultra easy to set up your Wi-Fi hotspot Android Auto or Apple CarPlay you can add users it's like bringing your phone into your car very nicely done as you look here nice digital instrument cluster gives you all the information that you need Bose audio system very comfortable now aside for the fact that you can't see anything again you've got these high doors you've got no rear windshield to speak of so you really feel like unless you're operating or driving in a straight line you're really pretty compromised some other things about the interior functional I love this retro design it's kind of a cross between retro and modern I noted this the last time I had the Camaro these uh, HVAC controls actually dub as the vents so you can control your by toggling this wheel you can control your heat or your cool again over here and they are functional vents and very nicely designed and it goes with that retro style nice hefty steering wheel here with your controls again race inspired very nice ambient lighting and there's an ambient lighting plan I believe if you go here oh ambient lighting plan so you can choose the patterns of light that you want change that here are all these free apps you can get again not much room in the back to speak of at all you might as well just give it up this is for the average guy and a friend I mean if you have anyone in the back you're gonna have to compromise and move up to allow somebody to sit behind you or a tiny person what are we waiting for you want to get out on the road you want to drive around right brought to you by little big econ state forest hear that nice growl as the engine starts up not sure you can see but there's a heads-up display over here and the beauty of this heads-up display is it shows you your actual speed and right below it the speed limit that throaty sound to that engine it's a beautiful car definitely nimble fun fun vehicle to drive don't know anything about this area so I'm not gonna push it because I will go home with a ticket or worse nice long hood and a just a very tight sporty crisp steering the Camaro is a fun fun vehicle to drive this is a pure muscle car this is if you want a muscle car this is the most out of the three including your Hemi B-Man that's a sofa on wheels so there's a quick and zany look at the 2019 Chevy Camaro SS it's a really nice ride if you're looking for a true muscle car you're not going to get much truer than this and just the wow and fun that this vehicle gives you i'd take this over your hemi any day brah as always i want to thank you guys for watching i will see you next time which will probably be like tomorrow or the next day but in the meantime remember guys remember remember i know steve and b-man will remember
and Mike Morales too. Keep pushing play. And I'll see you clowns next time. And I'm going to keep pushing my foot on the pedal of this Camaro. Because I'm having just too much damn fun. I'll see you clowns next time.